Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Abad Safizi Bizabidi and my supervisor is uh, Professor Maida TS Dr. Rosni Zabidi Hussein and I would like to present about my PSM1 project which is uh, my title, my PSM1 title is KPO as a scientific name, Seba Petandra, Fiber as a Natural Solvent in Oil Speed Cleanup. So we're going to the next slide. So uh, in this presentation, the content in this presentation is about the research background, problem statement, objective, scopes, literature review, case study flowchart, and the outcome of the study. So for the research background, so, uh, this uh, study was uh, was found out about the inexpensive oil solvent with advantageous oil sorption properties are still in need. And then the utilization of renewable resource as an agricultural product as waste is much more notable due to their grid absorption capacity and high biodegradability and low cost. And the other research background is about the couple of fiber is an agricultural product derived from the fruit of seed cotton, cotton tree, which has high absorption capacities owing to high hollowance and natural hydrophobic property. And the next is the hydro hydrophobic oleophilic property of the fiber plays an important role in the retention of all in capo fiber assembly. And the, we also want to study about the further improvement of oil absorption property would find more chance for the application of the capo fiber in oil pollution. So problem statement that we found out uh, about this topic is about the contamination of the environment produced by various types of oil has become a severe issue. Certain equity, life survival, and human economic activity uh, is, is derived from the Aguilera Journal, HL uh, 2008. And as, uh, according to Said and Zayed 2006, absorption technology has gen generated significant economic and industrial interest as one of the most effective approaches for not only total oil cleaning but also for the convenient post treatment of oil loaded solvent with. A solid or a semi solid phase. And uh, another uh, find, uh, another found about the problem statement is about the representative natural materials, include coupled fiber materials, have been uh, exploited for simple, effective, and inexpensive treatment of spill oil. So, for the next slide, is about the objective study. So, the first objective of this study is to analyze the surface properties of capo fiber and the second is to investigate the interaction of absorption mechanisms of capo fiber. So, our scope of study is uh, to characterize of, uh, the surface properties of the capo fiber using scanning electron microscope ACM, contact angle and the Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy FTRI before the oil filtration process. And then we want to analyze the oil absorption capacity of capo fiber, absorption medium using different weight of capo fiber with palm oil and use palm oil. And then we want to characterize the surface properties of capo fiber after oil absorption using SEM EDS and contact angle. And then we want to analyze visibility of capo fiber and to analyze the absorption mechanism of the capo fiber. So our funding from the literature review uh, in, the in the general research, we found out uh, from the Modianto D 2017, which is his study is about the potency serat alam tanaman Indonesia sebagai bahan fiber reinforce. Uh, di bahasa di uh, tajuk tajuknya pada uh, dibahaskan pada bahasa Indonesia, and the finding that we found is about the fiber is a type of material that is instead long thin and simple to bend from uh, and elongate issue, tissues then they are turning to natural fibers to replace synthetic and harmful materials because of their renewable qualities of eco-friendly behavior and the second founding from the literature review is about uh, from the journal uh, written by Madhu ETL 2020 which is his status about the effect of various chemical treatment of Prosopis, Julia Forest Fiber as a composite reinforcement. And the uh, strong statement uh, from the finding from his journal is about the, he said that utilized effectively for a variety of applications, including composite material, despite their reduced density as compared to glass fiber, textile, biomedicine, biopolymer, biosensors, and smart packaging. 
And the next funding, uh, finding that we found out from the Soprano O from uh, 2020, which is uh, his uh, his uh, journal title is about the potensi dan masa depan selat alam Indonesia sebagai bahan baku aneka industri from Indonesian states. We found out that he said that the benefits uh, of natural fiber have led to its uses for human needs as well as industrial raw materials such as textile, pulp. Uh, and paper, accessories, biocomposite, and craft. And the last but not least is uh, from the Sari and his Fakirin J. And for the Lee at uh, 2020, uh, his research uh, title is about the design, development, and performance of optimal water softening of the natural of the natural fibers. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the nat- uh, he said as yes, the natural fibers remain popular competing with wool, silk, and synthetic fiber for consistency, longevity, color, and sheen. Uh, then we move to the literature review, the uh, classification of the fiber. So this classification of fiber, uh, I get it from the Xiao Yao Jiang, TL two thousand twenty. Uh, so you can, we can see that the kapuk. Kapuk fiber is at from the subcategories of natural natural categories, which is sub the sub is a vegetable and is from seed of fruit. So the classification of the fibers. So there are three classification of the fiber, which is natural fiber, semi synthetic fiber, and synthetic fiber. So uh, natural fibers are grouped into three types, which is seed, hair. Um, best fibers and leaf fibers depending uh, upon the source some example are cotton seeds hair uh, remi jute and afflex which is the bus fibers and the sisal and abaca leaf uh, abaca leaf fibers most commonly used uh, fibers for polymer composites natural fibers in the form of wood flour have also been often used for preparation of the natural composite and then um, next is about the kapok fiber. So uh, kapok fiber is also an uh, agricultural product which has uh, oil absorbency characteristic. Kapok trees of the family Bombaceae are cultivated in southern Asia, Sri Lanka, others and other parts of East Asia and Africa. They are silky uh, fiber cloth, the seed of the tree. The kapo fiber is fluffy, lightweight, uh, non-allergy, non toxic and resistant to rot and odorless. It has a uh, rich oiliness and is inelastic to be spun. And it is uh, conventionally used as um, a stuffing for bedding. Uh, up, um, I'm sorry, uh, from, uh, from bedding and from the from the bedding and the non-allergy. This is non-toxic uh, resistance to rot and odorless. And this is apothecary, life preserved, life preserved, and other water safety equipment because of its excellence, buoyancy, um, for its insulation. It's again sound and heat because of its air feed lumen. And then uh, for the another literary, literature review that we got is about the hydrophobic oleophilic property of kapuk, kapuk fiber. So the kapuk fiber uh, contains the pectin and wax uh, substance that contributes to its hydrophobic oleophilic characteristic. So the static and dynamic contact angle of a kapuk fiber with a different kind of liquid such as vegetable oil, used oil, and engine oil is also investigated uh, in, in the dishes. So it is found that kapok fiber is an excellent oleophilic and hydrophobic fiber with the contact angle of kapok fiber to water is 129.55 oleum. And according to Sun, according to Sun ETL 2011, the oil liquids on the kapok fiber have the quick spread rate and the spread curve are similar to the spread rate uh, varied with the viscosities and the surface tension of the liquid. So, uh, in this experiment, for the material selection, for the material selection, we consist about the uh, three material. Uh, 
uh, which is the natural raw kapur fiber, palm oil, uh, and the used palm oil. For the subscription medium, new brand palm oil and used palm oil were used uh, for oil selection. The new palm oil was uh, purchased from a local groceries a shop. I mean, where used palm oil was taken from a Utation cafe or at uh, some restaurants. And these two distinct kinds of oil were used to represent different viscosities. We expected uh, different viscosities from these two oil. Um, the for high, which is the high viscosities and low viscosities. For high viscosities oil, palm oil was used, and whereas uh, used palm oil were used was used for low viscosities oil after that we going to um subtopic which is uh, sub surface properties and analyzing so uh in this studies on this experiment the capo fiber samples were analyzed uh, using several methods to identify sample characteristics to get the data and information of the capo fiber qualities as an absorbent material for the study um, the rock copper fiber in this experiment was analyzed using three different ways. Which is the first is scanning electron microscopy DS SEM. The second is FTIR, and the uh, and the third method is uh, contact angle analysis. So for the first method, is scanning electron microscope SEM was used to evaluate the surface morphology structure of the copper fiber, and the sample we load onto carbon as a state. And then after that, a thin layer of platinum was spotted on the samples by using a uh, Fison instrument (SEM) coating system to dissipate the charge during scanning. Besides that, the elements and functional group of the copper fiber were identified uh, qualitatively by using Fourier transform infrared, which is uh, we call as known as FTR space spectroscopy. And it was used to identify the particular functional group existing in capo fiber before and after absorption with different oil from several absorption bands. So in this study, the raw capo fiber and capo fiber with uh, different oil were analyzed using FTIR. And lastly, contact angle analysis will perform by using the sensile drop method. A single drop of liquid was placed on the capo fiber and the contact angle will calculated from the image cap captured by the measuring system using uh, VCA Optima EST product. This product will show the angle on hydrophilicity and hydrophobicity analysis. So for the next slide, it's about uh, expected, re expected outcome of study or expected result. So we expected to get the reasonable data for the properties of copper fiber after we analyzed by EDSCM, FTRI, and the contact angle. And the second aspect, our aspect of our uh, objective is to see the interaction and subsection mechanism of the copper fiber. And the most important is about the getting for the improvement, improvement of oil subsection property to find more chance for the application of copper fiber in oil pollution control arising from oil spill and industrial organic contaminant. So thank you, that's my uh, draft for the PSM1 which is uh, the title is about the capo fiber and thank you.